are talking about the best in beauty with the biggest names in the industry. If you like getting inspiration from social media for your makeup looks, you'll probably come across my next guest for sure. She is a celebrity and editorial makeup artist to the stars like Ashley Graham, Kate Bosworth. Her viral approach to bright, creative, and achievable makeup has made her an Instagram superstar. Outlets like Vogue, Glamour are praising her trend-setting fresh and dewy looks as she has inspired a cult community of beauty enthusiasts. Please welcome to the TAM fam, Katie Jane Hughes. Thank you so much for joining. I see you have your signature glow and dewy look going. You're gonna give us tips on that, but I gotta start, we're getting closer to summer and the goal is to look like we have skin that people, you know, will envy, let's just face it. And you are an expert on how to be creative, but also have that illuminating skin. You never want somebody to say, oh, your foundation looks great. You want somebody to say, your skin looks great, right? That is, yes. I mean, our audience responded to that because you don't want people to say, that's great foundation. So prepping and priming our skin, does that mean using one of these primers? Primers are great. If you if you love a primer, use it. I'm not really a primer person. I am a prime with moisturizer person. So for me on myself, I kind of just put a little bit of product in my fingertips and then I'll sort of go into the high points. Like I'm quite dewy and shiny now because I haven't done the rest of the steps that I'm going to talk you through, but I don't want to be too shiny here. And so, for example, putting it in those areas almost where I'm going to put my highlighter first gives okay. me that glow throughout the day, but keeps this area a little bit more shine controlled. Okay. However, before I put foundation on, I'll just rub my fingers together and sort of just press away any extra shine there. Because again, any shine that's on the face is gonna shear down my foundation and I kind of want it to be more full coverage in this zone. You already have your moisturizer, bronzer, and eyeshadow on, right? Yes, and a little bit of lip. And so the reason why I have my bronzer on is because bronzer is something that is on our skin when we're in the sun, right? Bronzer is something that happens when we go on a vacation or we're out in the summer days. So to put it beneath the foundation, because it kind of just, it should look like it's coming from within, right? Like all makeup. So the bronzer goes around the outsides, the foundation goes in the T-zone, the blush, you know, goes on the high points. Instead of everything kind of going in a bigger space, you get a much more natural and fully dimensional look by kind of almost breaking down the face into these little segments you have in some, every step. You have tips for our eyes as well. What do you, about the brows? I was a cereal overplucker when I was 16. Cereal. And so I, yes. And so my eyebrows, if I took all this makeup off, you would actually see that I have barely any brows. They're very, very slim. And oh, there, there they are. Sometimes I like to, sometimes I like to rock a sort of, sort of skinny, you know, like 90s brow. And sometimes I like to go big and bushy and a little, you know. So what brow is in, t in fashion now? What's the brow goal now? I am a huge believer in whatever brow makes you feel your best self so is the brow you, you should that. wear. I'm I, happy. But I, I think full brows are definitely trending. Skinny brows are trying to come back. I don't think everybody's kind of there with that yet, but I love a skinny brow. But by using sort of a little brow feathering pen, kind of like a liner, oh. you can actually create literal hair-like strokes. Oh. And if you were an overplucker like me in your younger years and they never came back, <laughs> then this is kind of one of the best ways to make it sort of Look, it's the best way to fake it, you know? I love that. This gives you a little bit of va va voom. You got the va va voom for sure. Thank you, Katie. Go to our website, TamRonalshaw.com, for a list of all of Katie's tips. And guess what, Tam fam? We've got more must have products in our beauty bar. I. Okay, this is one of my true favorites. Love. Scene is a lash brand founded by former president and creative director of J. Crew, Jenna Lyons, and her longtime friend, makeup artist Troy Olivier. Love Scene lashes are made for everyday wear, not just big days on the town, and are designed to be comfortable, reusable, lightweight. Everybody in the audience is getting a $75 gift card to shop Love Scene. Okay, up next, we love this beauty brand, Mary that will give you a polished look in just minutes. It was created to reimagine luxury beauty by making it holistic, well edited and accessible. Plus it's full of products that are safe for our body and skin and planet. They're Flush Balm, a creamy cheek color, and their signature lip are two musts for your beauty bag. And speaking of beauty bag, how cute is this one? Merit is giving everyone in the audience a $75 gift card. I love this. Okay, next up, 
Say is a clean makeup brand that prioritizes ecological, sustainable approaches to creating and selling their beauty products. Their high-performing products are good on you, good for you, and good for the environment. And they are created with ingredients that improve your skin over time. We love their slip tint, air set, sun melt, and glowy super gel. Plus, they just launched a Hydra Bean, a lightweight and ultra hydrating <laughs> concealer. Say is giving everyone in the audience a $100 gift card so that you can shop your favorite.